Hi guys, this is Alex from Mason Lifestyle. I hope you guys are doing well. It's fall. I, summer is packed up the bags and went and it is gone. We are having the nicest weather. I really have to say the nicest weather because it starts out at like 50s in the morning and then by, I would say by like noon, one, two, it's sunny skies. 70 degrees or like mid 60s which is absolutely perfect and so fall is here and guys about a week and a half ago Michelle at Style Maker Fabrics reached out through Instagram and said hey would you like to be part of the fall collection I said yes of course and she said there's only one caveat I said yeah what's up she said I need you to sew in a week and a half okay so, Style Maker Fabrics unveiled their fall collection. And guys, do you ever watch Lindsay from Inside the Hem, her videos? She does these awesome videos and she grabs all these swatches from Style Maker Fabrics and she shows you like, right, is, is, is the fabric stretchy? Does it drape? Let me show you colors. Let me show you what different other fabrics that you can use with it. I watch the videos. I don't know if I sit there for the whole thing, but um, I watch a couple of portions of it, usually when greens, blues, yellows. Anytime you have some of those colors, I always stop and see what she's got. And um, this time around, I didn't get to really see the video because they hadn't quite unveiled. And Michelle had mentioned that she had some fabrics that were coming right in. And I said, what the heck? Send me, send me, you know, send me whatever you want to um, put together. And she was actually quite good. So let me put a picture up. So I went ahead and did the Marlo sweater from True Bias. And guys, I have been dying to make this um, pattern for quite some time. And by the time I got to it last year, it was, it was, it was starting to get spring. I'm like, okay, cardigans, sweater, that's, that boat sailed. But I said, I have the pattern. I'll put it off to the side. And once it starts getting cold, I will make something again. And sure enough, it was time for that. So... Style Maker sent me this really nice knit. It is not super heavy. I would even say it's almost a lightweight to midweight. It drapes really nice. It's actually perfect right now so you can layer it or you could probably just make yourself a really nice knit top. Um, a v-neck here I come but I went ahead and made the Marlo sweater and this is the soft even repeating striped sweater knit it has this really nice cream chocolate brown it has kind of like a really subtle copper hue you could kind of see some of the threads with a little bit of copper but it's muted so it's not kind of like ugly in your face it's beautiful in your face and then it also has this really nice um, rose, like a like a dusty rose color. It's beautiful. I really loved working with it. And of course, I always enjoy a nice matching stripe challenge. I remember that I reached out to another person that I love on Instagram. And I'm like, what do you think? Should we just go the other way and play with the cross grain? She's like, no, I know you haven't made this pattern, but it's actually going to play in your favor if you just stick with the grain line on this pattern. And sure enough, I did. Style makers also sent out these um, marble buttons and they have the nicest buttons. I know that I am, um, you know, I have the fabric store nearby and I go over there all the time, but I gotta say, Style Makers has such a nice selection of buttons. And guys, if you ever need buttons or perhaps, you know, sometimes I really like to touch fabric, but it's kind of nice to talk to somebody that has the fabric in front of them, that knows about fabrics, that knows what goes well together. And they can actually tell you, yes, this will go well together. And sure enough, it did. Look at those beautiful buttons. They look really nice. Um, 
So I went ahead and also made myself a t-shirt to go under it. I used the J. Lee Mimosa t-shirt. Style makers carries their patterns. And this is actually a loose fitting t-shirt and it's got a couple of views. It's got a short sleeve, a long sleeve. It also has a sleeve that you can tie it. It also has a view that you can put a flounce on the sleeve. I went ahead and just made a simple T just because I want to make sure that it looks well under the cardigan. But come summer, this pattern is going to be on repeat because um, you can make a whole bunch of different views in different colors and it'll be like you have just a bunch of different t-shirts. So I love that pattern and I actually use their mid-weight cotton jersey fabric for this and they have it in a multitude of colors. Michelle, the owner of Style Makers, went ahead and picked up this solid rose, which I said, I don't know if that's, but sure enough, it goes really well with it. Again, I'm gonna put some pictures so you guys, um, you guys see it. And guys, Style Makers is doing a discount on your shipping. I believe it is $5. I'll go ahead and put it on the comments below and also on my blog, and that is will go through October 10th. So make sure that, um, that you go ahead and jump on this because I know sometimes if you are like me shipping sometimes paying that cost is it's a little bit um it's not so great to pay shipping but you know small business they have to charge you because it's not free to them so and I also made the um I made the lander pants I have actually made the shorts so I knew I knew how those would fit, but it was fun to make a pair of pants with this mint chocolate corduroy from Style Makers. They actually have this in different colorways, and they also have stretch corduroy. I love stretch women's, but um, this was actually really nice corduroy. My machine loved it. It went through it like butter. It is actually, it's actually heavy enough that it's keeping me warm in the evening when I'm out with my pants. And it's keeping me cool enough when I am inside the house, obviously, because you have to turn on the heat a little bit in the house, not full blast, but just enough so you are comfortable. So these pants are great. And guys, if you've never... If you've never sewn with corduroy, just a couple of things that you have to keep in mind. Make sure that you are using the right type of needles. Universal needle is your friend. Obviously, if you have a thicker corduroy, perhaps bump that needle to a jeans needle. Also, make sure that you cut your pattern with a nap because corduroy has a nap. I usually like when I kind of just pet I usually call it like pet, petting your fabric, that the nap going down just so I have the softer side going down. But obviously that is really about preference for you. But if you are going to cut that pattern, you have to cut it with the nap. So all your pieces going the same direction. Also, you really have to pay attention to the grain line because if you do and you twist it just a little bit, then your fabric may get the little twist, kind of like what you do when you're working with twill. It may do the same thing. And then, um, let's see, surge all your edges before you pre-wash your fabric. And guys, this is big one because corduroy tends to shed itself a little bit so you want to make sure that you kind of you know put down a little bit of the mass that it does when it starts shedding so go ahead and surge all your edges before you retreat your fabric and then lastly when you are ironing corduroy you want to make sure that perhaps you grab another piece of scrap fabric from corduroy and just put it you know right sides together and then you press on that because really what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not completely squishing that pile so don't be afraid of corduroy it is such an amazing fabric for fall and winter sewing so just a couple of things and i made the lander pants 
I don't know if you guys check out the sizing below and compare it with the Lander pants, but I went ahead and used the largest size range. I think it's 18 on their pants. And of course, my hips, everything fits except for the waist. But the nice thing about the Lander pants pattern from True Bias is that the size seams have a one inch seam in Boy, did that come in handy. So, all right, guys, I hope you like this video. Again, Style Makers Fabrics is giving you a discount on your shipping, even in the U.S. and also international. I don't believe you did a discount code, but if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out to them. And that discount will go through October 10th. So make sure that you put in your order. I went ahead and also wrote a blog post, added more pictures, and told you what changes I made to my pattern. For example, like the Marlowe pattern, I kind of cut a couple of inches off. So I made a version between the cropped and the long bud. Go ahead and check out the blog and I will see you guys hopefully later this week. Bye.